This is not even going to get a theme music for those that's listening into other podcasts, uh, other podcasts, wait about that, I, the Big D Zone podcast. And you know, YouTube don't do no, uh, don't do no music. They don't want me to. But anyway, this is your next president of the United, United States. This is your lovable widower and angry lovable widower dad, Prince D. So let's go back, shall we? On May 3rd, Big D Country was set to make Texas the brand new capital of Big D Country. Not only Texas, but Houston, Texas, does that matter? The brand new capital. And not only that, I stayed in two hotels. One that had a beautiful cathedral that I couldn't even get to because it was so hot. I mean, yeah, there were people probably used to hot weather, so they were able to sit by, uh, sit in there. It was outside, it was covered and everything like that. But, like, once you get outside, uh, you know, you have to be like, yeah. But it was a beautiful cathedral. It was the uh, extended stay at IAH, or a.k.a. Bush Intercontinental Air Force, for those who haven't flown. So then... Okay, I moved on another hot day to the Woodland Springs, of course. I moved to Woodland Springs. And the day that I, that I stayed there until the day that I moved to my current location, it was hell. Literally hell. Okay, oh, but you say Prince DJ. It's supposed to be hot in the south in the summer. Okay, true. You got me there. But at least there's a few times in the summer that I would have loved to go outside. See, when I used to live in St. Louis, yes, I lived across the street from a park, but the street, the way the street was, is so dangerous to cross back and forth, I couldn't even do it. That's why I didn't go there. And then plus I was on the eighth floor. Okay. And second of all, there was the divide going across the street. So imagine going across the street to just to go to the park. Or what, what if it started raining and you had to run right across the street to the apartment? Not going to make that. Versus May 22nd. For a whole damn month. Every time you turn around, it was either, well, I like the way uh, your, uh, Chief Justice put it one night. He, uh, he made me crack up laughing. He would say, every day there was either heat advisory or, or excessive heat warning, whatever the way he said. He was cracking me up the way he said that. So shout out to Chief Justice of the Big D Country Supreme Court. Okay. Uh... Yeah, so ever since May 22nd, they'd have one month anniversary of coming of staying here. Now I'm making a plan to move to Calvary because of reasons such as this. I wanted to at least go to the park every now and then before I have to, uh, before I get ready to move to Galveston. Because today, hey, I still got to get to, uh, to the, uh, island. That's four, uh, 45 minutes away from Houston. Okay. B, I had to get to the place. Okay. And C, I had to get everything settled so I could get food for the first night there and all like that, all that crap. You know. I mean, I wanted to walk around in the park before I come back to to, to games at 7 o'clock. Yeah, I got a new rule because usually sometimes a lot of people come in late or a lot of people just chit-chat. And I was like, uh, I want to play games. And, you know, I went all day, you know, to play games. I mean, I don't, I don't work. I don't work. I'm physically, legally blind, okay? There's only a few things that I could do. This is one of them, of course. Network marketing is another one. Well, even though I don't, uh, even though I suck at it. 
and you know, okay, I won for won for office. I almost won one office. I came in second when I ran for state office. I came in second. I almost won. I almost won. I was I was like a hair away. I was like a hair away from taking office. Okay. Literally, literally, I almost been an incumbent. Okay. Now, let me tell you this. I mean, I had to stay from May 22nd to now inside. Unless I had to face the heat when I did go to the Walmart. Okay. Yeah, I did have to wind up facing the heat and I had to go to Walmart because I had to wait for the, the lift to come get me. I had to wait it outside, now inside in the store. And to think, we had 18 days. And then we was called on media. The news media had called us. Texas, right here, the Lone Star State, the state, the, the capital of Big D country. It was called the hottest place on this planet Earth. On this round, on this globe, on this north, the, the southern hemisphere planet Earth. I don't know which level on it, but we was on the umpteen level of hell on some days. Some days it felt like 110, 111. One day it got up to 118 at one point. I'm surprised it wasn't even Death Valley. Ever since I landed on Texas soil, ever since I landed, now... We fast forward to today. Okay. Now I was I was I knew for the fact that we were gonna have some rain. But I didn't know and I know it was gonna be cool, but I didn't know that we was gonna have the actual temperature because you know, say for example it would be eighty and then they also have the uh, feel like temperature ninety or whatever the hell it was. I thought, and it'll be, or oh, I'll try to have it on my key if I could, but it actually said 76 feels like 76, but don't throw a victory parade yet because <sighs> thunderstorms. It was actual fucking thunderstorm in the way. I don't care if it's radar indicated or I don't care if I can hear it. like the last time I was trying to uh trying to uh a report for my first thunderstorm at a at a second palace there's thunderstorms in the area. It's cloudy, it's dank, it's depressing. But at least it was cool. But I wanted to go outside, walk around to the park for a few, a uh, few minutes. I could always go in and take a break because the bathroom right close to me. Because all I have to do is walk across, and I could actually walk across the street. I would have been able to walk across the street because there's no people driving like maniacs over here. I'll say it again. There's no people driving like fucking maniacs over here. Three weeks, almost a month. Well, they said 18 days, but still, almost a month. Three weeks. Had to be in a damn oven. And then when the, when, when the houses had the AC on, it had to be so chilly. Like I had to be Chilly Willie the Penguin. If anybody knows from that reference from Woody Woodpecker. I had to be Chilly Willie the Penguin. He's only chilly really all the time. I was frozen too stiff, so stiff that I didn't want to get high for I, I had the, uh, they had the uh, uh, air on last night. I am wearing a jacket. 
I slept with a jacket. Had a good dream with a jacket on. A real good dream involving a woman. For a change. And I had to sleep in a jacket. No! Thought it was late. You know, because I set the alarm for just enough time for me to go to games about 7 o'clock. Because I said 7 o'clock because uh, of the, uh, you know, it's 50 50 shots that they start on time. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I know, Mount and I'm enjoying reference. And will you please let me, I mean, okay, will you please let me light Bud Light because it's the only beer I can drink. It's the only beer that I can tolerate. Yes, I could also drink Jack Dan, Daniels in case Bud Light goes out of business, but what can you do? If I can, you know what? Okay, here's the thing. If I can't drink Bud Light, then I just won't drink beer. It's simple, to the point, point play. If I can't drink Bud Light, then I just give up beer. I'll just go to Jack Daniels. Whoa! A whole, almost a whole month in the heat. Some places said 18 days. Some places said three weeks. I don't know how, who the hell to believe anymore, but it felt like hell. Couldn't go outside for nothing. Except when I had to make those emergency runs to Sam Club. You have, and in the day of all day, 76 degrees, and it has to rain. But yet, when it's sunny, oh, it doesn't feel like 76 degrees. It would probably feel like 86 or something like that. Every time it's sunny, 90 degrees will be 100 and something degrees. 100 whatever! This is Ridiculous. I mean, I want my goal is to leave for uh, uh, my goal is to leave for Galveston in October. Okay, it's the summer season out there because they had the pleasure pier. They had, okay, it's like a beach town, but it's also history in that town. It's also where cruise ships are. They got Carnival and they got Royal Caribbean. I hear Disney's gonna make up one out uh, there, but. Go figure. But still, at least the worst that it could get is probably 90, uh, mid, uh, mid to low 90s in Galveston. And then uh, probably the nighttime temperatures will be low. They say it's humid, it's hot, but it's not as bad as it is at Hilton proper, where I am right now. This is, I, okay, so. I don't have to be in real in real prison to be a real prison a real jail to be trapped to be locked up to be incarcerated. I was incarcerated by the heat dome. I was incarcerated by oppressive heat. I was incarcerated by dangerous heat. That if I were to go out there and stay out there for a long time, I would literally die. I will say this again. If I was out there in the dangerous, excessive heat or heat of IC, all that crap, I would literally die. Then it wouldn't be no big D country. Then all officers would be terminated upon my death. I mean, this is ridiculous. Thanks a lot, landlord. Well, actually, first, thanks a lot, asshole maintenance person. No, asshole lazy maintenance person. Thanks a lot. Join together and team up against me, uh, against me, landlord, even though you let me move on the day that I was able to get to a freaking hotel. Okay. This weather nearly killed me. I've been sick. I passed out a couple of times. I couldn't participate in game because it was so damn hot. Because even the days that we had to wait at time, it would be unbearable. And that, my friends, citizens of Big D Country, was not fucking right. Unbelievable. 
May 22nd until probably supposed to be until today. I had to stay in fucking doors. Because my body can't take the heat. That is why I'm moving my big head to Galveston. That is why I'm going 45 minutes from here. And probably when I go do go to podcast, uh, podcast movement and podcast next year, 2024, uh, th- that way I'll have to go all the way to, I guess, either Hobby or Bush to get my flights. And hopefully if I do want to go home to the, uh, to the real palace, which is a cruise ship, well, okay, home is also including uh, podcast moment and podcast. I'm going home literally uh, next month. But anyway, I'm talking about my other real home, the other, the other, the uh, the main real palace, which is a cruise ship and mainly carnival. Hopefully, I could go there more often. You know, usually make some payments until it gets through. But I still need an ID, even though I can still use my Missouri one until the twenty sixth. I mean, you know, the 26th of, uh, you know, 2026. I don't fucking know. The heat sometimes that when my brain does enough that I can't think and stuff like that. I challenge Texas Mother Nature to a match on SummerSlam. You will go down and I want a match at SummerSlam. Texas Mother Nature, I say this again. I want a match at SummerSlam. It could be a no hold bar. It could be four count anywhere. It could hell it could be hell in a cell. It could be uh, it could be an ice cream match. I don't even care. I want a match and I want it at SummerSlam. This he literally told me up the fucking wall. Moomers remorse. Moomers remorse. But my hands were tied. Moomers remorse. Now it's 76. The actual temperature is not uh, 86. It's not, uh, it's not 86. It actually feels like 76 degrees. Have that happened? Have not had that happen ever since I landed here on May 3rd. Until then, take care of yourself and each other. Out!